In this video, we will learn about diuretics. This is video part one. Stay tuned under 90 seconds. So what are diuretics? So you guys know diuretics are given to the patients who experience heart failure, which means mechanical pump failure. As a result, the patients have pulmonary edema, generalized edema, or sometimes it's given to the patients who have hypertension. So what does these diuretics do? So remember D for diuretic and three Ds what the diuretics can cause. Number one, decrease in blood pressure. So that's why you always have to keep an eye on the patient for looking for orthostatic hypotension and risk for falls. Another D stands for diuresis. This means the patient is going to pee a lot. So that's why you want to make sure that you're adjusting these medications and giving it during the daytime. Because if you give it nighttime, your patient is going to pee all night and patient will have sleep disturbance. And third D stands for dehydration. So you know you have to monitor your patient for daily weight and also the electrolyte imbalance. Let's just review four different types of diuretics. And I give you the simple mnemonic to my students, lots, lots of urine. So L stands for Lasix, O stands for osmotic diuretics, T stands for thiazide diuretics, and S stands for spironolactone diuretics. Stay tuned, learn more about diuretics in our next video.